In firewall, the next thing was the aliases. Aliases is the group of computers or group of IP addresses, group of hosts, a range of IP address and so on. I'm on my PFSense firewall and if I click here on firewall on top, here you can see aliases. So what are these aliases? Aliases is the group of IPs, the group of ports, the group of URLs. So I want to group the IP addresses here. So if you remember in DHCP, I created some of the static rules. So I'll just take you back there just for the purpose of understanding it. So if I go here to DHCP leases, I created some of the leases here, which was 192.168.240.51, 52, 53, 54, even 55, 56, up to 60, up to 59. I'll be using those for the kids devices. So I want to create different rules for the kid devices to block or allow their internet access. So how I'll do that, I'll first of all create the aliases and I'll make you understand that how aliases work. So I'll create the first alias. This will be kids underscore devices. This will be the alias and I will give it a description. Kids devices on network. So these could be laptops, desktops or smartphones. I'll be doing it for hosts and here I'll be giving the fully qualified domain name or I will be giving the IP address. So there could be multiple IP addresses as I mentioned 192.168.240.51 will be one IP address. Here I have added all nine devices here. Of course, I can write the name of the users, kid1, the laptop of kid1 and the smartphone of kid1 laptop of kid2 and smartphone of kid2 and so on so i will not be giving the names right now you can of course add the names so that you can understand that this ip belongs to which kid so i'll be just simply saving it now you can see these are all the kids devices these are the ip addresses of all the kids devices and apply the changes now instead of using ip addresses one by one uh, you have now created the kids devices as an alias so you can create other aliases, for example, I will name it servers, servers in home lab. So these will be the host and again the IP address will be 192.168.240.2. So I created another aliases which is the IP addresses of the servers. So you might block the access from external networks to the servers or even from the local VLANs to the servers so you can do that and I'll show you how easy it will be to use these in the firewall rules. So we are creating these aliases to use this in the firewall rules. You can also create the aliases for the ports. For example, I will say it web ports. So web ports will be ports used by the web servers. So these could be ports. One will be port 80 and another will be port 443 so you can simply save it so it will give you an idea that these are the ports you might have a specific server on your network so you can create that application for example if my erp is using erp ports so my erp is using multiple ports so one port is 80 another is 8000 another is 9000 and another is for example 8443 so i have created the ports for this server so sometimes I might need to allow the traffic from external networks to these ports on specific IP address, for example. So this will be uh, allowed. And for example, if you want to enable the web ports from external to your network or from your network to external, so it will be also allowed. So you will be able to use then the aliases for the ports instead of the port numbers here also. You can use the aliases for the IP addresses instead of individual IP addresses. So here in the IP also, I can create the network aliases also. For example, if I say my local network and I can also choose instead of hosts, I can choose now network and that network will be, for example, 192.168.240.2. Slash 24. This will be the network. I will save it. So, one of the networks is added here, which is my local network. But what about the uh, aliases for the external networks? I might be having servers on the internet 
and that I might add as the IP addresses of those servers. It will be my web servers or my uh, cloud servers or my cloud services and so on. And even I can add the specific network also. Let me show you how we can do that. For example, if I want to uh, create a Facebook as an alias. Now, Facebook will not have one specific IP address. Facebook is not hosted on one single server. It is hosted on many servers. These are all the IP addresses which will be available. Of course, it is not easy to block one by one. So this way, I have added these aliases of facebook.com also. So I can add the IPs with the fully qualified domain name or IP addresses. For example, if I talk about my websites, I'll be adding the host only, syncpricks.com and saves. In fact, I can add more website into the same, for example, mjadali.com. Save. So this will be my websites. In case I want to uh, use these rules easily in my firewall, I can do that. So this way you can create the group of ports, group of IPs or group of URLs, uh, URL, URL tables and uh, URL ports. I'll be explaining this in uh, next videos. So let us continue to the next video and understand how we can use aliases in the firewall rules.